Daddy. Terry and Sherry Cherry. <laughs> I'm, uh, uh, Al. Al Bundy, that's right. <laughs> Jerry's! <laughs> <laughs> we brought you this. Our mother taught us never to go any place empty-handed. Or without a dime for a phone call. <laughs> oh, we didn't bring anything for you. Would you like our dime? <laughs> Aren't they sweet, Al? Uh, Al! Al Bundy, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies, I'd like you to be my friend. Al, the King Bundy. <laughs> Let's get comfortable here, come on. Decorated. That's uh, oh, <laughs> yeah, kind of a wild kingdom feel, I like it. <laughs> Luke, you know, Sherry and I were just talking, and I really need a man's opinion. Okay. Come sit on my lap. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> What to do? My boyfriend wants to move in with me, but he still wants to see other people. Let me tell you something. You don't let him move in unless he's willing to make a commitment. Thanks, Luke. So you want to go in the bedroom? <laughs> sure, as long as I'm here. <laughs> Everyone comes to the answer, man. <laughs> you once, twice. Three times a week, I love you. Hey, it's young Kit and his new bride. Hi there. <laughs> Cousin Effie. Why, you got married again. That's the fifth time, isn't it? Well, they keep dying on me. That's why this time I married a young'un. Sweet. Ain't he sprung? He still got all his teeth, too. Show her, honey. <laughs> I may have to choose food, but when it comes to loving, thank God he's got six brothers. <laughs> Peggy, I hear tell you're from the city. You got any pictures of breasts? <laughs> What particular species were you looking for? <laughs> <laughs> is this a family reunion or is this a family reunion? Generally, we feel you are your own best advertisement. So we like our patty girls to wear our cosmetics. Would your husband have a problem wearing makeup? <laughs> Madam, my husband sells women's shoes. Oh. Well, at least that shows he'll do anything. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. <laughs> and after a few months of selling patty products, he'll be able to dump that day job. I dumped my day job. What was your day job? Phone sex. <laughs> you make that much? Oh, this is too good for Al. Tell me more. Well, there are the patty parties. You go to parties? That's the job. You see, you throw parties, have your friends over, then watch the products sell themselves while you just sit and do nothing. Well, I can do that. <laughs> and to think I was just giving it away. <clears throat> well, what do I need to start? Just a deep and abiding belief in makeup. And our super deluxe petty party starter kit. <laughs> well, how much does that cost? $250. Oh, but that's just a drop in the bucket compared to your first month's commish. Well, just how much commish are we talking about? <laughs> Whoa! Will you take a check? Sure. 
Does it have to be good? No, we'll just put a lien against your husband's wages. I'm in. <laughs> yes, I did get last week's commish. And a nice commish it was, too. <laughs> okay, here's this week's order. One dozen patty powder puffs, a quart of chin away, one dozen, he'll think it's someone else's eyes liner. <laughs> and one vat of uh perfume. <laughs> In addition to my regular order. Okay, thanks. And you have a patty day, too. <laughs> yeah. Mind if I go to lunch? You just came from lunch. Yeah, technically. But biologically, I was in bed with some broth. <laughs> Luke, how can you be happy sleeping with every woman you meet? I don't know, but I am. I'll tell you, as your friend, I can't wait till you get married. Yeah, a wife and kids who adore you. A wife, kids, the list goes on and on. It's just seeing their faces light up in the morning when they see you. They can't do enough for you. It's heaven on earth. No, oh, Al, well, that is. Luc Ventura, at your feet. Do you work here or are you just loitering? Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, can I help you? I'd like to see some shoes, please. Uh, let me guess. Uh, size sevens. Yes, how did you know? Oh, women are sevens. <laughs> I know you've been told this before. But you had the instep of a movie star. Really? Hey, Al, meet Tawny. Al's married. <laughs> Listen, Al, I forgot to tell you. I got an extra ticket to the Bulls Laker game tonight. Court level. Want to go? Hell yeah. You sure your wife will let you? Let me tell you something. No woman tells Al Bundy what to do. Hey, you. Get my shoes. Yes, ma'am. Mr. Dallas. I want to live! What? No, I, 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 I said my name is uh, Al Bundy. I'm uh, Jack Dallas's new partner. Sit down, show me your tail. I mean, tell me, <laughs> tell me your tail. It all started a few months ago. She was a sultry dame, dressed to the nines, except for a pair of cheap pumps. But man, was she a looker. She had more curves than the Matterhorn at Disneyland. And there didn't appear to be any Japanese tourists standing in line ahead of me waiting for the ride. She was some dish. Hot as my neighbor's dinner. By the way, why don't I ever eat dinner? Oh, well, that's another case. Oh, my God, she's crossing her legs. So what do you think, Mr. Bundy? What? About my problem. I guess I should have been listening. Hmm. How would a real P.I. handle this? I know. <coughs> what? My uncle, the great explorer, Colonel Franklin Van Pelt, is about to bequeath a famous diamond known as the Pharaoh's Eye to a member of my family. I know he's going to leave it to me. So do all of my other relatives. I need you to be at the family ceremony and protect me in my bequest. Will you take the case, Mr. Bundy? Cross your legs the other way, baby. <laughs> Mr. Bundy? What? The case. Will you take it? I need your help desperately. I wanted to tell her the truth, but one look into her troubled thighs. <laughs> And I knew I had to play this out to the bitter end. Her 
at least until I saw some hooter. <laughs> I don't have much to offer. How does a hundred bucks sound? Oh, I'll pay. <laughs> now I know how Tom Arnold feels. Well, it's about time you got here. You must walk my winky. I'm not your bellhop. You can walk your own winky. <laughs> Pay you fifty dollars. Hey, winky. Hey, boy. <laughs> No parties. I think I saved most of our valuable stuff, Steve. And the rest, I'm sure, will dry. Um, Mrs. Rhodes? Mr. Rhodes said that if it's okay with you, that I can have a party. Oh, nice, Steve. Make me the bad guy. You heard Peggy say no parties? You have me deeply concerned, Stephen. <laughs> well, if I can't have a party, can I at least have a couple of friends over? I don't see the harm in that. Do you, Steve? Yes, I do. <laughs> sure. Go ahead and call them. I already did. Uh, listen, I really like one of these guys. He's real nice. But don't make any sudden moves, OK? <laughs> I guess I can dial 911 slowly. <laughs> Hey. Hey. Uh, this is Sean, Debbie, and Dweep. Dweep just got out. Human life means nothing to me. Marcy. It's nice to meet you. Just let me spread out some paper and we can all sit down. Hey, we was uh, playing Izzy's Closies driving in. I think you need a new mailbox. Uh, Marcy, I think we're low on milk. I'm just gonna run over to Wisconsin and pick some up. Freeze! And so, that's how I defeated the robots in the first intergalactic Super Bowl. <laughs> So what do you want to do now, girls? We'd just like to serve you, beautiful one. <laughs> well, what's on the menu? Massage, whipped cream bath, <laughs> spanking, <laughs> horsey ride, Shall we go back in our cages and frug for you again? Yeah. Oh. Well, girls, it's your dream. <laughs> Sorry I'm late. Well, that's all right, dear. Just hang up your robe on the moose head. <laughs> <laughs>